Oh my fucking god! Wait, 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 wait. So to prove the most masculine, <laughs> one of them cut their foot off. I can't believe what I'm hearing. What is? This is why aliens won't visit us, man. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another react video. Today we got Ethan, your boy Simon, and Top 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 Top. We. I'm your boy. We are reacting to embarrassingly dumb ways people died. Darwin Award winners. So uh, let's try not to laugh because these people actually died, guys. Okay. Wait, like actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is a uh, try not to laugh. Right. Oh great. Uh, but, but they did get yes. an award for it, so I mean we can celebrate it with laughter. We can celebrate. Yeah, we should. We, we should, should celebrate. celebrate. Yeah. Like. Yeah, it shouldn't be sad. Yeah, it should be a celebration, celebration of laughter. We're sixteen. <laughs> Death by beer. Okay. Oh, no. Hans Steininger served several terms as mayor of the small Austrian village of Brunau oh. Emmen. He had a four and a half foot long beard. Damn. Which he rolled and stuffed in a pocket. Imagine when a Josh fire broke out in his village. I knew that was coming. I actually... <laughs> that would be ridiculous. I was just calling him four foot yeah. five. That was what I was Oh. Like. <laughs> Toby. When a fire broke out in his village in September 1567, Steininger found himself at the center of panicking townspeople. His beard loosened from its pouch and unraveled as he Been tried to suppress the commotion. Steininger was too rushed to re-roll his beard, so he pushed it out of the way. His decision proved to be fatal when he tripped oh, over no. his beard at the top <laughs> of the flight of stairs and tumbled down the steps, breaking his neck along the way. Oh, oh no. JJ, how badly do you want one now? Hey, yo. You can never grow any facial hair yeah. or you can grow a beard that long. That's it. Oh, no, no. I'd, I'd keep it with this. Nice. No, good choice, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You lose that. You lose what you have. Oh, I lose. You know what? It's better than dying. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I'm not saying you die. I'm just saying you have a, a four and a half foot beard. Yeah, but it's just long because yep, let's is. say I'm performing on <laughs> yeah. well, well, let's say I'm performing on stage and I just jump on my beard and choke myself <laughs> out or something. Right. Are you gonna choke yourself? Right. Okay. We've got. We've I got. Don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 we've got. Oh, oh, what if? What? We've got Darwin Award what if my here, beard mate. get? No, no. What if my beard like wraps around my neck? And then I somehow hang my myself. Okay, and we're moving on. Crushed on by a day. cactus. Okay. One day in 1982, two young and this presumably bored roommates named David Grunman and James Sukochi decided to wander the desert near Lake Pleasant, Arizona with shotguns. Mm -hmm. During their walk, Grunman Ooh, opened no fire on a 10-foot nice. saguaro cactus. Nice. It quickly toppled, and Grunman then shot two rounds into a 27-foot tall 27 cactus, foot. causing yeah. a large and heavy arm of the plant to fall off. Grunman was crushed to death by the long <laughs> saguaro arm. Saguaros are only found in the Sonoran Desert and are protected by Arizona ah. law. In the case of David Grunman's unlawful behavior, he received a death sentence, Fine. courtesy of the cactus he shot. Nice. But Number 14, Fatal Test oh, no. Run. Oof. Oh no. As the aviation age took off, a tailor named Franz Reichelt decided to pursue a dream that was far beyond the scope of his profession. In 1911, the aspiring inventor entered a contest to create a safety parachute. He created a parachute suit, which was a standard flight suit improvised with rods, rubber lining, and a silk canopy. Reichel broke heavy. his leg during early test and blamed the chute's failure on the short height he jumped from. Okay. Oh, After a year no. of lobbying for permission to test the parachute suit from the Eiffel Tower, mm -hmm. Reichel was given the green light. <laughs> huh? Police and onlookers expected him to use test dummies, and when they realized he intended to test the product himself, <laughs> They tried talking Reichel out. Oh, wait, is that him? He was so Bro, confident Bro, Bro. in his parachute footage. suit, however, he took the 187 <laughs> foot oh my God. and died on impact with a <laughs> Oh my lord! Shopping cart. Oh attached. my lord! Why would you not just use a dummy? I guess he is a dummy, but. Why hey! Would you I shouldn't be making jokes about it. He just. Well, he didn't just. My dad loved Carry on. One oh, day in 2008, 18-year-old Cameron Beaverly took a joyride in a shopping cart that was attached to the bumper of a car. Okay. What? When wow. the car hit a speed bump, the Florida teen was catapulted 27 feet and landed on his head when he oh, hit the pavement. He died shortly after. Beaverly's the parents became spray. adamant the campaigners the against car surfing, a trend among teens that has become increasingly popular in recent years. Apparently, a growing number of today's adolescents and young adults need to be shown evidence of a tragedy to avoid dangerous driving They're behaviors that. that could kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Number 12, wow. motorcycle helmet protest death. 
In the summer of 2011, 55-year-old Philip A. Contos attended a protest against New York State's motorcycle helmet requirement. Uh -huh. Around 550 oh motorcycle enthusiasts rode together without their helmets in a show of solidarity against the safety law. During the demonstration, Contos' 1983 Harley-Davidson fishtailed when he hit the brakes and he was thrown over the handlebars. He hit his head on the pavement and was pronounced oh. dead at the oh, hospital. That, that, the is medical so expert that, is now of that is unreal. But did it get, this is the f <laughs> man put himself in that situation. He, bro, hot. We can't say him. Look, he's Josh's mate. We can't say him. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. I like that. The medical expert who pronounced Kantos dead believed he would have undoubtedly survived the accident <laughs> if he had been wearing a helmet. Oh, a bait. Give, give the him organization the award, that so sponsored the ride maintained their view that motorcyclists <laughs> should have they to, it. It. Head, bro. Not to wear Did a helmet. Did you see the head? Number 11. Drake's head, multi bro. Multitasking misadventure. <laughs> 20-year-old Kalita Hicks was driving her 1986 T-top Monte Carlo along a dark Kentucky highway at 3 a.m. one morning in August 2010. She had a passenger named Thomas May with her, and they decided to switch seats. Uh -huh. And apparently, what? saw no need to pull over. As Hicks oh attempted God. to climb over the T-top oh the what? passenger seat, her foot hit the steering wheel, causing the car to veer I don't get people. May grabbed the steering wheel and turned it sharply to the right. Bro. The swerving caused Hicks to be thrown from the roof of the car. She hit her head on the guardrail as she oh landed on the pavement. Hicks was flown to the University of Kentucky Medical Center and died during surgery. Matt. Number 10, self-decapitation. <laughs> what? In 1995, what? a group of Polish men decided to measure their masculinity, and evidently their intelligence, or maybe lack <laughs> thereof, by playing drinking yep, games. Ethan. One of the yeah, competitors yeah, right. amputated the end of his foot using a chainsaw. Huh? In an effort what? to one-up him, 30-year-old farmer Krzysztof Asninski swung the chainsaw toward his neck and what? cut what? his own head off. Oh my we fucking god! The drinking games usually never wait, 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 wait. So to prove the most masculine, <laughs> one of them cut their foot off. Oh my god. I can't believe what I'm hearing. What is... Hey, yo. This is why aliens won't visit us, man! Bro, you know when like, someone says... So like, oh, you should have seen the other guy. Someone, <laughs> you're at like a barbecue. Someone goes, why haven't you got a foot? Uh, me and the boys are playing this game. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck it. Dave chopped his head off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fucking won. Yeah, he, he, it turns out he's got the biggest bollocks. <laughs> in 2018, a 21-year-old man decided he needed more like attention on the stop, stop <laughs> footage is too elite. <laughs> so Bro, he decided Sonny, to like perform vertical push-ups on the railing of the ferry. The crew ordered him Christ. to stop which he did briefly until they turned their backs. Soon enough, he faltered and toppled overboard. Several life rings were thrown to within several feet of the man, and a crew member got into the water within five feet to assist, but he was unable to stay afloat and eventually drowned. Mad. All right, so I've got questions about that one, bro. Why are you doing handstands and stuff on the railing when you can't swim, fam? I want to know how he learned to do handstands. Like, to me, I feel like you learn to swim before you learn to do handstands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do He's got it all wrong. You can swim. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can yeah, stay I'm afloat. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think if I threw, I think if I threw you in a river, I think if I threw you in a river, you, you could you know survive a little. Bit. If you threw me in a river, you might as well throw me a funeral, mate. A Toronto attorney named Gary Hoy was incredibly proud of the strength of the windows in his skyscraper. Oh no! Nice. So oh, I've heard about this. Don't tell me he threw this. I've heard The durability of his 24th floor office windows by throwing himself again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One day in 1993, he decided to impress some incoming students by body checking himself against the glass. The first time, the window held, as it always had before. Hoy took another run at the glass, and it <laughs> oh, the lawyer oh, plunged I, to the pavement fair, didn't below break. and died from his injuries. Peter Lawers, managing partner of the firm, told a local newspaper that Gary was one of the best and brightest. Fairly <laughs> not. Bro, I mean, clearly not. Those students, bro, they've all sat down for like a board meeting or something. For inspiration, and, bro. And this, and this bloke's just. <laughs> right. Hey, everyone, welcome to the job. I want to show you this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bang. And then, then, then we're just there, like, so Slow, is this part clap. of the trick or. <laughs> so, like, is he coming back? <laughs> 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 I suggest you hire a different firm. <laughs> Number seven, DIY death. 
1996, Mark Gleason made a last-ditch effort to quiet his snoring. So his girlfriend, Tracy Lambert, could sleep. Oh, no. Doctors had told Gleason that his snoring, which was caused by sinus problems from a car accident, was incurable. But the Scottish couple were determined to get it under control. After taking a few sleeping pills and drinking some wine, Gleason stuffed tampons into his nostrils. He fell asleep on Lambert's sofa, and the next morning, she discovered his lifeless body. Gleason died from asphyxiation caused by both the tampons and the sleeping pills, which furthered his breathing difficulties. Oh my god. Number six. I can't believe this. Accidentally proving an accident. In an Ohio courtroom in July 1871, lawyer Clement Vallandigham argued that his client Thomas McGeehan was innocent of murder. McGeehan was accused of killing a man named Tom Myers during a bar fight. Vallandigham maintained that Myers accidentally killed himself with his own pistol. To prove it, he used an unloaded gun to demonstrate to the jury how Myers could have no. done this. Oh, that no. evening, the lawyer set a loaded pistol next to the <gasps> unloaded one on a table at his hotel. In the process of demonstrating to fellow lawyers how Myers may have shot himself, Valendingham picked up the loaded gun from the table and shot himself in the end. <laughs> he was mortally oh my wounded, God. but his demonstration apparently worked, and McGeehan was acquitted. Nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> what? British scientist and nutrition fanatic believe. Basil Brown consumed a gallon of carrot juice daily and 70 million units of vitamin A over the course of 10 days. The combination Jeez. of toxins produced the same effect on his liver as alcohol, and he died from cirrhosis. Oh, when he wow. died, his skin was bright uh, yellow. Oh, While some whoa. people may not know how dangerous a vitamin A toxicity can be, it's common knowledge that overconsuming anything can lead to disastrous results. Yeah. Number yeah. four. Obvious, but optional <laughs> yeah, boundary. I just, I've consumed many things in large amounts that I probably well, should. Uh, so if... if if a woman, <laughs> Come on, where's this guy? If, yeah, if a, a woman consumed start. too much yeah. sperm, is would that kill Bro, her? Bro, too much of anything will fuck you up. Too, listen, as soon as you throw off everything, as soon as you pass the balancing point, you're done. <laughs> right? Your body can only do so much. We're not superheroes. He didn't want to waste time on a detour, <laughs> so he proceeded around the cones. Anthony, who was employed as a New York City electrician and should have been well aware of the hazards of downed wires, paid the ultimate price for his foolishness. When police arrived at the scene, his vehicle was engulfed in flames and he was dead. Man. Number three. Daredevil dummy. Oh, that's oh, again. No. Wang Yangying was a famous Chinese daredevil oh, we heard this one. his death-defying stunts yeah. atop skyscrapers. Yeah. Some of his famed acts included doing push-ups on the side of a skyscraper, walking along rooftops. Oh! Eventually, oh! Yang Ning's risky yeah. behavior yeah, yeah. caught up to him, and he fell yeah. from a 62 ah! skyscraper. Oh, his body was found the next day, along with the camera that ah. filmed him losing his grip. The moral of Yang Ning's ah! tragedy is that there are much safer ways to gain stardom, success, Bro, and Bro, I wonder what you crash. must... Just do some reacting. Yeah, do some try not to laugh, man. Yeah. I imagine... What, yeah. what must you... So see how he's done that so many times, yeah? I wonder what that instant feeling is like, bro. As soon as he's let go, like, bro, he's done. Like, he's probably just there, like, like he's fine that he slipped, bro. Yeah. But like, as soon as you let go, you've accepted. I'm done, bro. I'm dead. Crushed by car. Mm -hmm. When you're fixing a heavy object, don't sit under it if it's propped up precariously. <laughs> One slight wrong move, and it's game over. Sarunas Masionis learned this lesson the hard uh. way. In mid-2018, he attempted to repair his car while propping it up on a tire and a jack with a wooden block underneath <laughs> oh, it. The no. car crushed Masionis. His partner noticed he was blue and a neighbor unsuccessfully tried lifting the car. Efforts to save the man's life were in vain. <laughs> The neighbors, no, the neighbors noticed he was blue. What? Like he, oh, he's been fixing that car for a couple of hours now. <laughs> no, he's been up there for a day. Fuck me. Number one, wheelchair elevator tantrum. What? A wheelchair-bound 40-year-old South Korean man, known only as Mr. Lee, threw an explosive tantrum when he approached an elevator at a shopping center as the doors closed and couldn't get in. Instead of waiting for the next one, he repeatedly ran oh into God. the closed elevator no. door. And in an apparent no. underestimation of his own strength, 
thrusted them open. <laughs> no! <laughs> to the elevator shaft. Oh he my! God. Nineteen feet to his death. <laughs> oh Instead my! Of cautioning the general public against the potential consequences of violent anger, shopping center officials promised to strengthen their <laughs> elevator doors. Oh my God! <laughs> so oh. which of these stories? The footage is so funny. funny. It's so funny. <laughs> Oh, my player! I can't believe I'm just fell into the elevator shaft. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, so, like, look at this animation as well. Look at that picture. Oh, man, uh, that's ridiculous. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still going. I'm still going. Number one should have yeah, been yeah, Chainsaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably the oh, ultimate Thomas thing. I'm dead. Surely he's looking at like, like, ooh, this isn't stable. Where's the top of a look? Bye. <laughs> Mr. Lee fell into the elevator. Oh my god. Plummeted 19. I wonder if he was still holding onto the wheelchair. Of course wheelchair. he is. Well, I think so. Do you think he landed on these wheels? No. <laughs> That's a, well, the fucking Tony Hawk wheelchair yeah. edition. Bro, in the X Games, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Kickflip. Kickflip. Well, fucking it's, Ollie. It, it's, like GTA, <laughs> it's like GTA. If you land in a certain angle, bro, you survive. You, you hit the kickflip, bro. Ollie. Hey, yo, rest in peace, yeah, but just don't be dumb. <laughs>